So the Iranian fuel tankers en route to Venezuela. I don't get this. So the United States wages economic warfare against Iran, right? Iran makes a nuclear deal to get the sanctions to go away. Trump gets in there, rips up that nuclear deal. Every time Iran tries to test their missile system so they can deter Israeli attack, so they can have an effect missile system to deflect Israeli attack. Every time they do that, they get more sanctions slapped on them. The USA has gone out of its way to economically isolate the Islamic Republic of Iran. It just, just come down so hard on them. The USA has done the same thing to Venezuela. Sanctions imposed on them. Just lately, there was just a military coup attempt against the Venezuelan government. So Venezuela also faces all of this. And, you know, this happens. And now Venezuela and Iran are trading with each other. Why are you surprised by that? These are two oil producing states led by revolutionary governments that are opposed to Western capitalism that are being viciously targeted by the United States. Both have tried to negotiate. Remember Hugo Chavez giving a book to Obama, Open Veins of Latin America, and tried to negotiate, tried to you know, you know, negotiate and soft power and all that, and instead have gotten screwed. We have the USA trying to violently overthrow their governments, economically isolating them. And so these two countries that have been targeted one of them is a uh, Marxist government led by Roman Catholic Marxists and Bolivarians. The other is an Islamic revolutionary Shia government. Both of them have been attacked by the United States, and so they're trading with each other. What's the big deal here? Why is anyone at all surprised by that? And what, on what grounds does the United States have to step in and try and stop them? 